Some woods don't take to uh, stabilising very well in uh, thermo setting resin, like cactus juice or stick fast resin. Um, these are generally open, open pore woods. I think they're known as. Uh, and one wood in particular that I, well, I can stabilise it using this resin, but it just looks unsightly to my eyes. And that is uh, normal oak. Um, the reason being that uh, when you when you shake the handles and you finally sort of hand sand and polish the wood, you can see uh, in the grain you can see the sort of the, the resin, um, and it just to my art to my way of thinking it looks unsightly. And so with with woods like that, I tend to uh, not not stabilise them. Uh, using resin, instead I, I I use a linseed oil treatment, and it's quite simple. I just get a jar um, deep enough to submerge, fully submerge the handle of the knife, and then I'll mix up a 50/50 ratio of uh, linseed oil with white spirit, and I'll uh, I'll put the um, the knife handle into the spirit and I'll into the mixture, and, and I'll leave it uh, for a period of time. Generally overnight, um, sort of 12, 14 hours, and uh, let that thin mixture of um, linseed oil and white spirit just permeate into the wood. Uh, the white spirit helps, it thins the, the linseed down and it helps carry it deeper into the wood than you'd otherwise get. Uh, and then what happens over time uh, is that the white spirit evaporates away because it's more volatile. And it leaves behind uh, the uh, the linseed, and this must be boiled linseed oil, not raw linseed oil. It must be boiled linseed oil. Uh, and the reason why is that boiled linseed oil uh, will polymerize uh, over a, a few days and perhaps weeks. It polymerizes, and what that means is that it hardens. It's it's a hardening oil, uh, and so you've got a deep penetration. Of, uh, of the oil into the into the wood fibers and then it then it hardens and then um, effectively uh, sort of waterproofs and stabilizes the wood to some extent I don't think it's going to be quite as stable as say um, using the cactus juice um, but it's certainly a very natural finish for the for the for the wooden handle uh, and future care of a knife finished like that is uh, it's very simple just regular applications of uh, of linseed oil uh, just wipe it on with your finger you know um, and, and that's it really uh, wood is a natural product and given climatic conditions in its environment the wood may expand a little it may contract a little uh, but it will always return back to its original shape um, that of which it was shaped and sanded in when it, when it was built, and the the wood that I put onto the knives is is, uh, is dried out extremely well. I use a, a special drying cabinet, um, which gets most of the moisture out. Uh, with uh, the stabilised handles, uh, woods like um, bird's eye maple, for example, they stabilise exceptionally well. Uh, and these actually get baked in the oven to drive out the very, very last bit of moisture, so they're totally moisture-free. Uh, and then they go through a, a, a quite a, um, uh, an in-depth process of, uh, of impregnating the resin into them. Uh, I've done videos on all that, so uh, you can search for those on this channel. Um, and they should shouldn't move much at all. But again, I mean. You're dealing with um, natural products, uh, and, and and even to some extent, man-made products. They do shift very, very slightly. You know, if you heat something, it expands, and if you cool it, it contracts, and that applies to everything, including metal. So, um, stabilising just really minimises that movement. Uh, anyway, I'll uh, I'll show you a knife I've just recently finished, uh, and then you'll see. Um, um, it's just a lovely natural finish, it's very, very tactile. Uh, this type of finish and this type of knife is really aimed at the person that perhaps is a little bit old fashioned, who really appreciates his tools, 
and he's prepared to look after his tools to wipe them with oil. You don't want to get too much mineral oil onto the wood because it's the same with, with, with guns and firearms. You know, you don't want to excessively apply liberal coatings of oil. You just want the merest uh, sort of lightest touch of oil just, 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 to, just to cover the, the steel uh, and wipe it off. And that leaves a very fine film. If, if you apply liberal coatings of normal mineral oil, the chances are it could soak into the wood, especially the end grain, and it could soften, uh, soften the wood in that area. So you want mineral oil, gun oil perhaps, or uh, uh, there, there are loads of different oils, 3-in-1 oil, they're food safe oils you can use, wipe them on the blade and then wipe them off, and just leave a very very fine uh, coating of oil. What you need to get is boiled linseed oil, it must be boiled, uh, not raw, raw will not polymerise, it won't set hard whereas this will and just uh, you can see that's actually beginning can't get it off can't get the cap off that's it done it see what's happened it's solidified you see how it's solidified around the cap and that will eventually go go solid just pour you want just a tiny amount And get your finger. Get your knife and just rub it, especially into the end grain there. Rub it all the way around. Obviously paying attention not to uh, put your finger anywhere near the actual uh, blade. Rub it round and uh, Again, get the end grain on the pommels, the pommel rather. A bit more oil perhaps. I say this knife doesn't need it now because it's been done, but this is what I would do. When I, I, and I wouldn't, it's not something you can, I don't think you can really overdo it, but it's something that I would. I would do maybe once uh, a month for whenever you think the woods begin to look a bit tired. Uh, then you could put that down like that for an hour or two, um, and then come back and wipe the wipe the oil off. But the wood, the uh, the oil rather, could become a little tacky. Um, as it as it starts to harden, but generally I find that the uh, the olive oil won't harden. Sorry, the um, linseed oil won't harden that rapidly. It takes a sort of a day or two for it to start to polymerize. Generally, again, circumstances, you know, temperature, humidity, etc., all affect uh, the speed of that process. Um, and the, as for the blade. I finished the blade with uh, a, a mineral oil like um, 3-in-1 or a gun oil. I'm not that much of a fan of WD-40. I uh, don't think it protects the steel as well as uh, some of the proprietary gun oils do. I, I use a, uh, an oil called Napier. Uh, I found that to be quite good. So uh, I hope that helps. I was inspired to do this to do this video by an email that I got from um, from Kim, one of my subscribers. So uh, thanks for the uh, inspiration there, Kim. Hope it's been a help. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye for now.